morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wednesday of the third week of Easter. Our opening song as we gather together. So join in if you know it. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing and cease from distressing. Say praises to his name, he forgets not his own. Beside us to guide us our God with us joining, whose kingdom calls all to the love which endures. So from the beginning, the Whoever believes in 
me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our response today, after the first reading, we were told, let all the earth cry out with joy to the Lord. Let all the earth cry out with joy. That's a tough one to do today. All the earth. It seems like right now all the earth is inundated by this virus. There doesn't seem to be any corner of the world that hasn't been affected by it at some level. Yet we are reminded that we are to cry out with joy to the Lord, all of us, over all the earth. And that's a good opportunity for us to think about the things we can be grateful for, the things we can be joyful about, even in a very difficult time. We can all ask ourselves, do I have my health? Am I with my family? Do I have a home? Do I have people who care about me? Those are things to be joyful about. Those are things to be grateful for, even in a very difficult circumstance. So I encourage all of us to ask, how can I continue to cry out with that joy? How can I continue to be grateful how can I find the blessings, the graces, even in a very difficult circumstance? We pray today for all those who are sick, that they may know the healing touch of God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for first responders, we pray for medical personnel, we pray for those who care for the sick. For their safety, for their success. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. We pray for ourselves. We pray for relief. We also pray that we might be able to find the blessings and the graces, even in a difficult time, that we might still be able to give thanks, even in a difficult time. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may know the eternal light of heaven. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those prayers that we hold within. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to continue to watch over and guide us each day. Help us always to live the faith that we profess. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth the work of human hands will become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and the work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away by me. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light of these paschal mysteries, 
so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with past joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace to all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart, and they bring us healing and strength now and forever. Behold the Lamb of God, the old him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Union and the Father. Lord has risen and shown his light in us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayer that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks to you, God. God. Have a good day. <laughs>